Hello everyone, happy to see you here and in this video we are going to do a very simple math problem and you're going to be surprised that many of you are actually going to get this wrong. So I don't want you to use your calculator right here because as you can see here is our question 10 minus 2 times 2. Very simple question, yeah? And of course most of you also are like, yes I can handle this problem, I can handle it. this is basic subtraction, basic multiplication, I learned this stuff in the third grade, so that's fantastic. So go ahead and put your answer down into a comment section, we have three options, option A, option B option C, so I suggest you to pause the video real quick and choose one option, what do you think is the correct answer and it will be really interesting and really great to check our answer here in just one minute, it will be really great. So pause the video and choose one option, what do you think is the correct answer to this question. Before solving this question I want to start with this solution, so a lot of students solve it like that, so 10 minus 2 times 2. We know the solution, they go in an obvious way, from left to right we have 10 minus 2 equal to 8. 8 times 2 equal to equal to 16, they say, okay, we have this option, this is option A, is the correct answer. So they go in an obvious way, from left to right, they, they see this option right here, which is, which is maybe not good, yeah? We need to know about order of operation, because it's not like a correct order of operation on the first side. And let's solve it according to order of operation right here. Right here we have PMDMC order of operation. So let's solve it according to PMDMC order of operation, maybe this is, doesn't matter about uh, order of operation, if you're talking about PMDMC, PMDMC or Bodman, there are a lot of order of operation, I use PMDMC. So let's solve it according to PMDMC. So PMDMC works from the top to the bottom right here. So let's look at it real quick, let's spend 30 seconds to solve it correctly and real quick. So first of all we have parentheses right here. Are there any parentheses right here? No, I don't see any of those. What about the next step? Exponents, so are there any square cubes right here? No, I don't see any of those. Very simple question, so we just reject these two steps. Let's go to the next step. The next step is multiplication and division part. So are there any multiplication and division sign? Let's look at it real quick. So we have subtraction right here. Yeah, we have multiplication, so we have 2 times 2 and we know that 2 times 2 equal to equal to 4 and moreover, as you can see, multiplication and division, this is before addition and subtraction, yeah? Before this, yeah? Multiplication division every time we, need, we solve it at first before addition and subtraction. Okay, we have 4. And we still have this in the beginning, so 10, 10 and minus, minus 4. 10 minus 4 we know from, from school, this is like obvious, this is equal to 6, okay? And then a lot of students say, okay, we have this 6 right here, which is maybe correct according to PMDMC, but what about option right here? We have like option 8, 16, this is not the same, we have 3 factorial, we have 4, and on the first side they don't see this obvious solution right here, and then part of students go back to this wrong answer, because first solution to this problem I want to start with the wrong one, because I want to show the really obvious mistake right here, which is absolutely incorrect, because this solution in, on the first side, this is not according to a correct order of operation, so just forget about this 16, which is absolutely wrong. So let's go and let's find a correct option. We have option C, which is not the same as 6, we have 16, this is not the same. Let's look at this 3 factorial. We still have one option, so it will be really great that uh, the answer is the same as us, so we have 3 factorial, so we have 3 factorial, which is the product from 1 times 2 and times 3. A product from 1 to 3, let's look at it. 1 times 2, 2, 2 times 3, 6. So, as you can see, 3 factorial, this is the same as 6. So we can easily write it as 3 factorial as 6, doesn't matter. And in the same case, this 6 is the same as our answer according to PMDMC, because our question is 10 minus 2 times 2. So as you can see, instead of 3 factorial, we can hold, we can keep in our mind that this is 6. So our answer is our answer is option B, because this is a test, we need to choose one letter which, which is a correct answer to this problem. If you made this error, I'm happy you made this, because you won't make this error again. And I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic adventure, and don't feel bad if you got this wrong, really like relaxed algebra problem, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to improve your math skill, pre-algebra concept, basic math, I really I will be really grateful if you subscribe to my channel. I definitely wish all the best in your mathematic adventure. Thank you for your time and have a great day.